Salam Sajatra. Welcome to the course on International Humanitarian Law. To begin, we will first take you to a basic understanding of the concept of human dignity and humanitarian principles. These two are the foundations of the international humanitarian law. Often, we read on the news about humanitarian needs, humanitarian assistance, humanitarian aid or action. What does this mean? A general definition found in the dictionary states that a humanitarian can refer to a person or an act that demonstrates a concern for the welfare of other people. Being a humanitarian means that one is committed to helping people who are in need of assistance during a crisis. These crises can be due to natural disasters or man-made disasters such as conflict and violence. The help or assistance that can be given may be in the form of provision of basic needs such as food, water, shelter, medical aid or service, security, and even moral support. Humanitarian actions and interventions are important, especially during the time of crisis, when the people who are in need are in the verge of losing their human dignity. On the part of the humanitarian actors, this is what makes them humane by showing their respect for the integrity of human life, not only of themselves, but to the whole of humankind. Some of you may ask, how does a humanitarian act or charity differ from each other? Or are they similar? Humanitarian actions or interventions are done during a situation of crisis in order to save lives, ease the suffering of the people, and protect their human dignity. On the other hand, charity or charitable acts are done at all times with or without a state of crisis. Acts of charity involves the giving of resources to members of a community with the objective to help them improve their general well-being as part of the community at large. How about humanitarian action and development? How are they different? Since humanitarian action or aid is employed as an immediate response of help during a state of crisis and emergency, development or development programs are done as part of a medium to long-term intervention. These interventions are done in order to improve the present condition of a community in terms of health, education, livelihood, and others. These development programs are designed in order to provide a better future for them. Similar to human rights, the purpose of humanitarian action is to preserve human dignity. The ICRC gives us a conceptual definition of human dignity. It states that human dignity is about self-respect, the true human worth of a person, and it carries a universal definition applicable to all peoples and without regard to race, color, sex, nationality, language, religious beliefs, political or other opinions, property, birth, ethnic or social origins, or any other considerations. In many religious traditions, human dignity is intrinsically tied to the value and integrity of human life itself. Given the belief that human life is the creation of God or a higher being. There are, however, instances when people may feel their human dignity is lost. One instance is when they are not treated as a human person with their inherent rights, such as right to life. Another case may be when a person may no longer be capable of protecting his or her own life and has lost the ability to function as a capable person. This situation happens especially during the time of crisis and emergency, when individuals and communities are in dire need of help from others. The international community upholds four principles in the conduct of humanitarian action. First, 
to uphold humanity by preventing and alleviating human suffering and to protect life and dignity of every person who are affected by a crisis or emergency. Second, to ensure impartiality and not to allow any discrimination towards people who are in need of humanitarian help. Third, to practice neutrality at all times by not taking any sides of any of the actors who are involved in the crisis and instead ensure that the humanitarian action should be decided and done according to the best interest of those who need help. And fourth, a great sense of independence should be upheld. Humanitarian action should be free from any political, religious, or any other ideological agenda of any groups. What is important is that help should be given to those who need it most. In this introduction, we have shown you that the primary purpose of humanitarian action is to respect and protect human dignity. We have also enumerated the four main principles of humanitarian action. These principles are important because it guides the work ethic and practice of humanitarian work in general. However, later in the course, you will also find out that the International Committee on the Red Cross and the Red Crescent Movement or ICRC actually upholds seven humanitarian principles. These principles are important to ICRC as a neutral organization that mainly promotes and enforces the International Humanitarian Law or IHL.